Hello and welcome to Baldur's Gate 3. I am currently obsessed with this game. It is taking up my all my free time. It is my personality. So I thought I would do... I wanted to do a little bit of a let's play. I am going to do the Explorer version because I did the standard version in my own personal let's play and it's just too much. I, I don't want to be here forever. For anyone that's not familiar with familiar with this game i'll put a time link too for when the actual gameplay starts if you want to skip the intro whether you don't care or you don't need it but right now we are stuck on this alien ship uh and this is a mind flare and that is a mind flare tadpole which he is about to put in someone's eye don't worry i cut that part it's kind of gross uh and then the whole point of these little tadpoles is that they eventually turn you into one of these mind flares that's basically how they breed is just abducting people planting these tadpoles in their brains and turning them so here we go here's one entering my brain so my character is half drow half sorcerer and i'm gonna do play as the dark urge so the dark urge is a character you can customize their class their race all that stuff their look but they have a story that already exists and is already relevant to the plot and to existing characters in the world. So I thought it would be fun to play that because I don't know much about the Dark Urge other than we have no memory and we have horrible, horrible thoughts about killing people and it's all we want to do. And then this is the Gith Yankee coming in on the dragons. So, the Mind Flare has been teleporting the ship around different realms, trying to get away from the Gith Yankees and abducting more people. And I'm pretty sure we've ended up in hell. I think that's where we currently are. And this is my character. I named her Cruel. The blood in your head thrums and pounds. That pounding blood obscures who you are. An overwhelming loss of memory. How you ended up amidst these hellish flames is just as hidden. You have nothing in your skull, besides your name and a headache. But you are in danger. I'm just going to chime in here real quickly to say that I lost the footage of us escaping the ship because I am just so good at this YouTube thing. All you really need to know is that we were able to teleport the ship one more time out of hell uh, and it came crashing down and somehow we survived. We also, while on the ship, met Lazel and Shadowheart and we saved Shadowheart's life. That's really all the context you need. <laughs> the dead! We're gonna be in the pungent corpse. Since you awoke on the ship, your mind has been cold and empty, but something stirs. With your hands close to this body, you know nothing of why, but you find a half smile flittering across your face. Try and remember the last time you stood over a corpse. Ooh! As soon as you delve into your mind, it is filled with flashes of a thousand different dead. There is something unknown and unspeakable deep within your heart. Let's go talk to Shadowheart. Wicky wicky! You're alive. I'm alive. We're alive. How is this possible? Uh, I was hoping you might know that. I... I remember the ship. I remember falling. Then nothing. First things first. We need supplies, shelter, and most of all, a healer. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. We? You want to stay together? We need each other. Yeah, we do. And we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. I wanted to thank you again for freeing me. It would have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod. Take that brain. Why won't you die? There we go. God, I really need some health. And now we'll wait. Harry, I've got one of those brain things cornered. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? Easy stand back, yeah. I'm I'm a killer. I'm in the mood to kill things. There's a pig. You're relieved until you see the flash of a dagger. One more step and I'll make you eat that knife. You can try. But first you'll tell me what you know. 
Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. The light, the fear. <laughs> what was that? What's going on? It's the Mind Flare worm. It connected us. The worm? And to think. I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Can't blame you, I was looking forward to seeing yours. <laughs> A kindred spirit. Do you know anything about these worms? Unfortunately, yes, they'll turn us into mind flares. Of course it'll turn me into a monster. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. You should travel with me. I was ready to go this alone, but maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. And you seem like a useful person to know. Unless I kill you. All right, I accept. As he joins your side. Now I remind me of Frankenfurda with that face. Perfect, pretty corpse. A mind flare, and it's her. You approach the dying monster. You could end its life here and now, if only you didn't feel compassion. It's possessing your mind, forcing you to love it. Submit to the feeling and lean in for as if for a kiss. No. Close its eyes forever. Ew. There's goblins over there. Worth checking for supplies, maybe. One step ahead of you, Shadowheart. I'm always looting. What's going on with that room? A hand? Anyone? Ow. <laughs> Perhaps I should have clarified. Mm -hmm. A helping hand. Oh, well, I thought you wanted a high five. We're gonna have to use sorcery because I am not strong enough to probably pull him out. Are we wearing the same thing? Our gloves look the same. We are wearing the same thing. I need new clothes. I need I need new outfit. I cannot be walking around in the same thing as Gail. I possess many gifts, but tadpole extraction is not one of them. It's not exactly a common affliction. We're most certainly going to need a healer, and soon too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? Sounds like a plan. You're welcome to join me. I'm collecting all the companions. I'm gonna collect all of them. And then I'm gonna kill them all. No, I'm not. I don't know. I really don't know. Before you think you're about to embark on a journey with most ill-mannered a man, thank you for pulling me out of that stone. Something tells me you're gonna be the least ill-mannered one in the camp because I fantasize about killing people. Astarian's a vampire. Lazelle's a bitch. There's Lazelle. She got herself stuck in a cage. Good job, Lazelle. The thing's dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white hot stare. Her lips don't move, yet you hear her voice. Get rid of them. Deception, this creature is dangerous. Get out of here, leave it to me. She's right. Let's go. Enough gawking. Get me down. How about you say please? Never. Well, I guess you're stuck up there forever, Lazel. Get me down. As you say. Okay, calm down, Lazel. The tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. Stop but acting like I'm the only one with a tadpole. I literally saw one go into your My eye. People possess the cure for this infection. I must find a crash. You will join me. Careful. She obviously sees your kindness as weakness. Don't let her take advantage. Or maybe my kindness is of a more sinister plan to collect all the companions and kill them. I, again, I don't know. All right, let's, jo let's journey together. You are full up. Dismiss your weakest warrior. Gail, that's you. Very Gail well, approved. But heed my words. I must interrogate this sorrow. I will be at your camp. Do not keep me waiting. What's that? Ooh, I don't have a shovel. Do I have a shovel? I don't have a shovel. Bugger! Ooh. Astarian, you're up. 28, show off. Stealing everything. She looks so scared. Damn it, we just got rid of the last silent bubble. No gloom, all doom. That is like the lamest thing you have ever said, Gail. I think I hit the fence. <laughs> oh. 
What a curious way to awaken. I'm gonna loot your, your sarcophagus. How delicious. Yeah, it's a delicious looking door, isn't it? Not really, actually. I've seen better looking doors. Do I want to go through the big doors or do I want to go through the little doors? Big doors go out because I don't remember off the top of my head. Uh, I think I know, actually. Yeah. There's booby traps in there. Another locked door? No handle. How does it open? Wait, I can't lock pick it? Are you serious? I can't. Okay, so we have to go the other way then. Everybody be careful, okay? There's booby traps up ahead. Oh my god! Everyone almost stepped on that trap. Hey, and we're back on that beach where we found Shadowheart over there somewhere. <laughs> Wait, I'm the only one in this fight? Ooh, new clothes! New clothes! Yeah, that's better. Pave my path with corpses. Build my castle with bones. Okay, calm down. Ow, oh, the bloody vines. Thank you, Gibblebook. Everything all right out there? Yes, it's me. Let me in. You're dead. No, you're dead. Easy. Easy. That was too easy. I am on easy mode. Don't judge me. No, oh, no, he's raging. He's raging! Get out of the doorway so I can get out of the doorway. Just gonna do some looting. Don't mind me, everybody. Just looting. Just doing some looting. Yay! We can get through the door now. Ooh, let's go to camp. Let's have our first night at camp. My memories before the Nautilus are shrouded in darkness. Memory loss isn't usually a symptom of seromorphosis. If it is... They've forgotten to write it down in any text I've read on the subject. I have violent thoughts, depraved thoughts, ones that refuse to go away. Should I be telling Gay all this? We like just met. I need you to say at camp. I've crossed paths with Gibyanki before. And they didn't cut you from navel to neck. Well, Maybe I killed them. Perhaps they were otherwise occupied. I am still getting used to people like you. That large, fleshy nose of yours looks like a mistake. I love that she just insulted my nose. That's so funny. Come on now, it isn't that large. Decadent, then. Oh, decadent. Lazelle has a dangerous look in her eyes. What's the story with that odd little artifact you have? There's no story. None that you're entitled to hear anyway. Just forget you ever saw it. Uh, I'm just looking to make conversation. Conversation shouldn't be made. What? It should be grown. Oh. Let the seeds sprout in their own time. Okay, you're deflecting, you're hiding something from me. Fine, I won't Thank press you. you. I am enjoying the latest addition to our little group. Lazel is delightful. In a very look at me twice and I'll dismember you kind of way, of course. I like how everyone had like a gazillion conversations options and Astarian has. Tell me about yourself. That's it. That's it. Tell me about yourself. Who wants to tell? I'm a magistrate back in the city. It's all rather tedious. Okay, that was riveting conversation, Astaria, and I'll see you later. Anyone want to talk to me? Oh, Lazel wants to talk to me. I knew your kind to be fragile. Be quick about your rest. We must locate Kay. a crash. We literally had to have this rest so you could join the party, Lazel. Okay? Take your rest. I will stand watch. Should a single tentacle split your skull, I will not hesitate to end you. Who's to say you won't turn before me, Lazel? They put the thing in your eye before they put it in mine. So if anyone's gonna turn first, it's you. Ooh, now Shadowheart wants to talk. Probably about Lazel. What were you two talking about? I knew it. What do you mean? You and that Gith Yankee. No, you've lost me. No idea what you're talking about. Just gaslight her. No. Uh, we were talking about the next step. I see. I'd be careful with Lazel. I wasn't confiding in anyone. We were just talking. Yeah, if anyone... I was trying to confide in you, Shadowheart, and you didn't want to confide in me just yet. That's fine. Is that everyone? All conversations? We've had all conversations? 
Why are you standing by the fire? Go to hell. Okay, and good evening to you too. Ha, <laughs> you're a good sport. Um, what's on your mind, Gail? Devils, dragons, mind flayers. They used to be abstracts. Pictures on a piece of paper. Dude, you're a wizard. What a difference a day makes. Now we have tadpoles slithering through our heads like carnivorous feti. The brooding will get us nowhere. <laughs> Stop brooding, Gail. I'm just gonna say I'm not too worried. That's the spirit. Let's be up with the lark. Find a healer before the wee one gets hungry. Everyone had something to say. I bet you Astarian has nothing to say. Do you mind? I'm brooding. Oh, you're brooding too? Everyone's brooding. I'll go brood as well. Open the bloody gate! Nobody gets in! Zevlor's orders! What's going on? Goblins are on our tail! Open the gate, Zevlor, now! You let goblins here? Where is the druids? Sir, I'm here. I'm here. Form a line. I'm here and I'm gonna kill the goblins. It's all good. Oh no. Never mind, Will's here. Will's here and Will's gonna kill the goblins. Provoke the blade and suffer its sting. Guys, forever until it's our turn. I did it. I'm the hero. I killed. That was all me. You led them straight to us and you let them take the druid too. Unbelievable. Believable. Ah, backstabbing feels just like home. Pull your claws in, under elf. Show some respect. This woman saved your pathetic life. Well, I didn't ask for any goddamn help. You were. Please, you were begging me to open the gate. Exactly. To save yourself, you coward. Yeah. I can watch. Oh, I wanted to punch him. Should have done that a long time Ooh, ago. Ooh, I want to punch you so bad. Sevlor, are you okay? I'm sorry I let him hit you. I wanted to hit him. What I didn't expect was help out there from a drow. Well, I'm half drow. Thank you. Whatever your business, I'd see to it quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. Why are they forcing you out? There have been several attacks by different monsters. The druids blame us outsiders for drawing them here. Korga, their new first druid, won't even see me. You, though. I should kill her. I know it's not your business, but she owes you for oh, saving I thought you wanted me to kill her. Perhaps you could persuade her. Uh, enough about the ritual, I have my own problems. <laughs> I'll find her and I'll speak to Korga while I'm there. Really? No. We're messengers now. Oh, and if it's of any concern, you're brave to walk around without hiding your heritage. I'll make sure everyone knows that you helped us at the gate. I mean... One, you can't see my ears, and two, I'm half drow. Oops, oh, I'm ready to fight. I'm gonna fight someone! Okay, I did some trading with this guy over here, sold a bunch of stuff, upgraded some of our armors, and made it so we're all wearing matching outfits or colors. You can't quite tell with Lazel, but it matches. You just have to buy enough time to run. That's good advice, kid. You'd do well to listen. Hmm. You're on the right path, Umi. Hell's great fires. You are on the ship. Another escapee, gods. I need all the help. I need all the friends I can get. Yep. Collecting the them up. up collecting them all. Your minds collide once more. Will chases the fiend ignited with rancor. She is an infernal war devil. A threat to the living. Evil incarnate. Shit! You saw her. Who is she? Her name is Karlak, an archdevil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. Suggest we Just partner up. So go to my camp and wait for me there. A splendid plan. Come to rip me open too. In Kresh Kalir, a formal greeting begins with a bow. Is this monster with you? Yes, and I suggest you do as she says. You saw another gift. Where? The map. Show me. You can keep your innards. You're not going to eviscerate him. I was hoping for a show. Cool your blood. I'll indulge you soon enough. Well, uh, that sounded a little too flirtatious for me. Okay, Azazel, I have my eye on Astarion. Back off, okay? So I just recorded like a whole bunch of stuff and forgot to hit record. So all you really missed is that I met Mantis, who's a kid, selling stuff. 
And then they stole from me and I confronted them and they were like, oh, talk to Mole. And then I went and saved another kid from some harpies, which are like sirens. And they were all like, you should talk to Mole. And so I came to talk to Mole. And for some reason, instead of confronting Mole, I invested in Mole's business because I don't know. And I also helped some girls sing and she gave me a lute. And that was really it, honestly. Nothing too exciting. Please. I'm sorry. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. Imprison her? She's a child. She's a parasite. You're a parasite. She eats off... The death of a child. A timeless tragedy that never grows old. No! No, we fight that urge. We'll kill all the other people, but we, we, we'll we draw the line at children. Why kill the child when we can kill Korga? Out, thief. My grace has its limits. <sighs> it hurts. Yeah, Shadowheart, we're going to talk about what just happened with your hand. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Yes. Let's just clear the air about that now. It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. Are you sure it's not connected to the tadpoles? Positive. You can trust me on that. I do. Turn to other matters. Okay. Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? I'm probably not one to judge. Though I do draw the line at killing children, so... I know you're kind. Oh, you know nothing you about me, Korga. What you want is none of my concern. So you say. Yeah, the child walks free. Because yeah, the child you was my concern, not you. Get out. We have no more business. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you. I just need to be smart about it because I know you're in cahoots with these rats. I just don't know how to prove it yet. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to kill you. Do you know anything about mind flares? Why are you asking? So I, uh, I have a tadpole in my head. A mind flare tadpole? Is there any other kind? <laughs> what other kinds are there? <laughs> it's not like a frog hopped into my eye. I'll do the best I can. I'm no Master Halson mind. He'd have your tadpole out like that. What's that plant? Will it help? She shifts uneasily, mm. hesitating. Something's off. It might. It might? What aren't you telling me? I'm telling you everything you need to know. Believe me on that. I want to help you, but I can't unless you work with me. So, has anything unusual happened to you? Well, I have a tadpole in my head. I already told you that. That's pretty unusual. I can merge minds with everyone else that's infected. Victims can identify each other. Not that the others know they're victims, of course. How do you pick up the parasite? I'm on a mind flare ship. I was kidnapped and infected. Um, you've been straight with me. So I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptom. Thought you could cure me. What about that branch of yours? The thorn? Coated in a fatal toxin. It was a last resort. In case I couldn't trust you. I don't have a cure. I think Nettie just signed her no own way. death wish. Do I have your word or not? No, you don't. And I'm really, I'm itching to kill someone. I haven't killed anyone for a while. No, I'm not taking your potion. But you have no. To. Don't you understand? I do. You could kill us all. I will. Well, I'll kill you. I'm going to kill you. I don't care. I'm not going to die. Then I have no choice. Oh, I hope Halzen doesn't get mad if he finds out we killed Nettie. At least she didn't just attack. Well, she did. She, well... Yeah, no, you're right. She kind of gave us an out, and then we... Sorry, Nettie, I had to kill someone. Oh my god, are we locked in? Are we locked in? Nettie, you bitch! I'm gonna steal stuff. Haha, <laughs> 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 stuck that Nettie, I figured a way out. Okay, now everybody be cool. We didn't kill nobody. And we're just gonna walk out here. Nothing sus. Okay, that's... Don't walk on the tape. That's so suspicious! I heard what happened. Thank you for protecting the child. If the druids are this far gone, then it's not just goblins we have to fear. You saw what they were willing to do to a child just for trying. True. Even I'm above course. killing children. Without and I'm evil. Why don't we get rid of her? I like the sound of that. 
You better watch yourself, Korga. I'm about to expose your ass. Just give me a minute to find the thing. I don't actually know where it is. I probably should have paid better attention. Ooh, let's check up here. Lock picking is attracting attention. Tread carefully. I don't know what you're talking about. Yoink. Korga, swamp docks, tree. Meet me alone. Great, now I gotta go to the bloody swamp. Always gotta be looting the dead. Always looting the dead. What are you doing if not looting the dead? The pig's dead, my friend. Staring at it won't bring it back. Examining the corpse, you see two small puncture wounds in its neck. You know something about this, don't you? It's been killed by a vampire. I didn't want to say anything because I didn't want to worry you. But don't worry. I'll keep watch tonight. I'm sure we'll to you will. Oh, no, that's no, no, we're re rolling. No, no, no failures around the animals. That's better. The dog sniffs your hand. His tail swung low in understanding. He knows how to find you. Yes, we got a dog. I don't care for fish. Red meat. Now, that's a different matter. Rare as can be. Dripping. You're not doing a good job of covering for yourself. The Githyanki people have a word for men like the Blade of Frontiers. Shalak. Roughly translated, idealist do-gooder. Or better yet, benevolent burden. Well, the burden is about to replace you. So... You can tell Lazel that I want to kill. I have these urges. I want to kill. I want blood. There's no shame in a capricious murder now and again. Too many, though, and you waste energy and dull your weapon. My suggestion, attack with purpose and savor your kills. And if the urge proves too much, well, I'm sure we can find you a goblin or two to carve up. Some good advice, Lazel. That's exactly what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to be strategic with my murders. Oh my god, is it me or have you been looking at me different? Is this our first, um romantic encounter i'm gonna click it i have a confession i was too hasty to judge you i thought you witless gutless unimpressively bland i thought you crude stubborn and judgmental yes all that is true i am cold as the sea of night but you have stoked fires i didn't know i possessed you've gained my respect and more still, my yearning. Hold on, are you coming on to me? <sighs> Isn't it obvious? It is, I just wanted you to say it. I want to taste you. Perhaps tonight, perhaps later. But I want it all the same. Do you? I don't. I'm flattered, but the answer is no. Your loss, I fear. And you will wish you could return to this lost moment. I think I'll be fine. I got my eye on another. Just join me. I, I, the spirit. We'll talk to you later. I'm so glad I found. Wait, oh my God, what's me. happening? What's it's happening? Elfira from the grove. Why are you here? I'm sorry for barging in like this, but I had to come find you. I want to join you, to fight by your side. Wait. I want to help people. Wait. As you've helped me. I didn't know this was an. I didn't know this was a thing. Are you sure? Yeah, join me. I'm collecting companions. Really? Thank you. Take it one note at oh time. my god, if she can be in our party, thing. we're switching her out with Will. I don't think we she can. Probably hit the hay. Okay, she's just going to hang out at our camp. That's all that is. She's not going to be in our party, is she? Disappointed. I kind of really wanted to play with a bard. You open your eyes with a lurch. And you are not in your bed. You stand above a body. Oh my god, please, please, please tell me I did not actually kill her. The body of that brave girl who earnestly swore to devote her life to your cause. Her blood covers you. And oh my it's god. It feels like the embrace of an old friend. You recall nothing it's a dream. of how you ended up here. It's a dream. Please tell me it's aches. a dream. Um, try and remember. Try and remember. Oh my god, I should have known this was a dark urge plotline. No, I 
I was so excited to collect companions, I didn't even question it. And your dominant arm aches. It aches from stabbing over and over. No matter how it appears, the body is there and her blood is on your hands. The question flows through your mind. Who are you really? That you could be guilty of such bitter business. You may only have a few moments before the others awaken and begin to cast blame for the hot sin before you. How are you gonna, there's so much blood. How did no one notice? How did no one notice? Let's see what happens if I face them. Are they, they're gonna be mad. Oh my God, I'm so scared, I'm so scared. Another waif dead before her time. I wonder how it happened. I don't know. Now, I can't help but notice that one of us is positively drenched in blood. So? Was it you? I don't know what happened. I woke up and she was dead. I'm going to say that because that's the truth. This blood didn't get there on its own. I, but I don't know what I did. Morn, you truly wish... I did. I really wanted to journey beside her. I was like so excited to have a bard in our camp. Oh my god, is she still here? Is she st Oh, oh my god, she- I can't believe that happened! Okay, at least her, like, guts aren't out everywhere like they were before. Just so you know, I don't judge you for what happened to that bard, Alfira. But the look of guilt on your face was priceless. What the fuck, Astarian? You said you were gonna keep watch! What kind of vampire doesn't wake up when there's that much fucking blood? But you could have been more subtle about it. Because leaving dead boars lying around is so subtle. Oh my god, it really is different playing as the Dark Urge. <laughs> I'll be watching everyone in this camp like a hawk. Especially you. Well, I confessed. Isn't that something? I confessed. Ooh, Will and Gail are going to be so judgmental about this. Alfira wouldn't have harmed a housefly. I didn't want a to kill her. young soul slain in her prime. Oh, I'm so upset. Like, I genuinely wanted her in our camp. Dale, it was an accident. Go on then. State your business with me from a safe distance. I, yeah. It's all I, the same uh, to you. I may have difficulty sleeping for a while. They hate me. They all hate me. You there? Please, I don't know what's come over these boys. I just want to go home. Stop this. I don't know why you're asking me for help. Ask again. I am the problem. How about we all just calm down? What's going on Careful. here? Don't trust a word out of her mouth. Our sister went to the hag, and we ain't seen her since. I'm not getting involved. Bollocks. You were supposed to rush to my defense, love. I'm in mourning. Out of good you are. <clears throat> Did you just kill them? Everywhere I go, there's death. I didn't even do anything, and they died. A chill runs up your spine. You feel like you're being watched. We're gonna do some sorcery. You blink and the wilderness changes. A swamp, stinking and insidious, assaults your senses. But no, now we're in a gross swamp. This day just keeps getting worse. I only support the killing if it's my decision, cruel, okay? Can't just go and kill NPCs without running it by me first. Blood everywhere. Something over there. Someone wasn't as fortunate in their camping choice. Whatever she said, clearly not the right dialogue for what just happened. Considering she made a big deal out of the fact that I may have murdered someone in my sleep. Okay. At least it wasn't you. Oh, I'm still not over that. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna need a minute. I'm gonna need a minute. I'm gonna take a minute and I'm gonna come back. And then we're gonna kill Korga. Because killing Korga is gonna make me feel better about killing the bard because it just will okay don't question it okay i'm back i went and did the dishes and had some chocolate i feel a little better look at us we've all just ganged up on this tree wait the emerald grove will be the shadow druid's domain and you its first druid Korga better watch out because i am i am all kinds of something I'm mad. I'm mad at myself. Away. I have no more need of you. I know the truth. You mean to take the grove for the shadow druids. What? See? I knew they were the rats. 
A shadow druid? Korga, have you lost your mind? You defile the grove for the sake of harmony. You seem intent on forcing me to take your life, so be it, Korga. Oh, then come get it! Wait, how strong are they? Oh shit! We're out, we're out leveled. We're only level three. Ooh, okay, maybe I got a bit ahead of myself. You killed Silver! Wait, like everyone's my enemy except for this guy. Wait, what? Oh, you guys suck. You all suck. You're supposed to be on my side. Oh, stop turning into bloody animals. Bloody druids. Why? Oh my god, every time they turn into an animal, they have health. Like, new health. What the actual fuck? Yes, Korg is dead. Someone help me up. Someone help me up. If only justice soothed my heart. Yeah, I feel better. A grove drenched I feel in better. blood is no sanctuary at all. I wonder what Halzen will have to say about all this. Very well. Hopefully he won't be mad. Koga was right. We must put ourselves first. She's dead because of your meddling. Do you want to be dead too? I suggest you shut up. I'm told the druids have stopped their damn chanting. What happened? Killed Korga! I'm sorry it had to come to this. I'm not. But she left us with no choice. The Blade of Frontiers has done what he can to help us prepare for the journey, and we are grateful. But it'll be a short journey if the goblins still own the roads. Kill the goblin. Oh, I'm Everyone down for killing Astarian. Deal with it. Your mind wonders. If the crossbow bolt shot through her mouth, would she taste the metal before she died? I am going to step between the two of them. Looks like the absolute sent me a protector. You no, I just I just need you alive. I just need you, you alive for a minute. Move. Why do you care if a goblin lives or dies? My reasons are my own. God, you're exhausting. Fine then. Who is this absolute? The absolute is gold from the sky she is. The blessing in the storm and the storm itself. We're burning her name across the face of the world, we are. Sounds like a cult. Sounds like a cult. Oh, I'm still a Starian. Um, follow me and keep Napoli. safe. Ha ha, she's yours, a Starian. Ha ha. That's too funny. You got a little goblin companion. We are not our strongest selves at the moment. How? Oh, these guys are level one, though, so we should be fairly fine. Okay. I should unwind. Oh, just walk through the knives, why don't you, dumbass? You fucking idiot! You were gonna be my leverage to get into the camp. We are bugged. Um, and I really hope I don't kill anyone tonight. <laughs> She's gone, but that's just a unpleasant reminder of what happened. Gives me a chance to talk to you about something. Well, it's about how I killed that girl, well, isn't it? Go ahead. We've been on the road together for a while now, haven't we? In short, I've grown to trust you. I really needed to hear that, actually. I feel like everyone hates me. The reason I make a point of saying this is that I've grown confident enough to tell you something I've yet to tell another living soul, except for my cat. You see, I have this condition. Do you kill people in your sleep too? We share, but just as deadly. What it comes down to is this. Every so often, I need to get my hands on a powerful magical item and absorb the weave inside. I'd be happy to help. Who am I to judge? You have my thanks. We're going to bed. I really hope I don't kill anyone. Tonight, you can't chase the thoughts of that poor girl you killed from your head. You wonder what she looked like as she died. You feel such rushes from your thoughts of the dead woman. Why did she die? The mystery gnaws at your pounding heart. Milady? <gasps> Jubilant oh. day! Oh. I have found your vile self at last! Your loyal and ever adoring butler. I found you following the stench of that bard. I'm, I'm trying to put that behind me and you're bringing it up. Across the coast. I didn't kill her. It happened while I was asleep. Ah, yes. Milady has always had some spontaneous little outbursts of joy. I cannot wait until your next act of shameless barbarity. 
Not likely I'm already disgusted by m at myself for killing her. It was wonderfully disgusting, wasn't it? Be true to yourself, my lady. It was the fact that I had no control over it that, like, is the worst part. I'm going to leave that there because this has been a lot. For anyone who hasn't picked up on it, this is a very long game. There's three chapters. We're in chapter one, and I don't even think I'm halfway through chapter one. Uh, maybe, maybe we're almost halfway. No, I just remember there's a whole bunch of other stuff. Yeah, we're not even halfway through chapter one. It's definitely different playing as the, the Dark Urge. You kind of forget and you're just like, oh, this is a new cutscene. I guess I didn't unlock it in like in my other playthrough, not connecting the dots that it's specifically a Dark Urge cutscene and you're about to kill someone you didn't want to kill. I'm really bummed about that. <sighs> okay. <laughs>